Well, Rishi Sunak had the chance to denounce the politics and the policies of Liz Truss, to make clear that he would never repeat her mistakes. But he didn't. If he's too weak to stand up to them one year in, what chance do you give him five years in? Be in no doubt, the biggest risk to Britain's economy is five more years of the Conservative Party. In contrast, Labour's defining economic mission is to restore growth to Britain. But it is no use simply claiming that we want economic growth without new ideas for how we can achieve it. That starts with understanding the world as it is today, a world that has been reshaped by new technologies, by the pandemic, by war, by great power rivalries, and by the climate crisis. In short, globalization as we once knew it is dead. Disruption to supply chains that span the globe has revealed the perils of pricing only the fastest and the cheapest. And our ability to make the things essential to our national security has been depleted. Great gaps have been allowed to open up between different parts of the country. And we have time and time again been buffeted by global forces. In this new age of insecurity, it is no longer enough, if it ever was, for government to turn a blind eye to where things are made or who is making them, to run an economy based on the contributions of only a few people, a few industries and a few parts of our country. A change world demands a new business model for Britain. It is an approach that I call securonomics. That means government putting economic security first, security for family finances, and security for our national economy. It means we must rebuild our ability to do, make, and sell more here in Britain, so we are less exposed to global shocks. <laughs> Governments around the world have come to understand this in a way that our government cannot. That wealth does not just trickle down from a few at the top, but rests on the contribution of the many, on the skill and dedication of those who work in our everyday economy, care workers, postal workers, supermarket workers, and on entrepreneurs, innovators, and scientists. Growth from the bottom up and the middle out, an economy rebuilt in the interests of working people. Because from security comes hope. Labour will commit itself to rebuilding that security, to restoring that hope. Labour is ready to serve, ready to lead, ready to rebuild Britain.